Okay, so how organizations are addressing compliance and common challenges? Access controls offers the framework for the IT compliance. So all the IT related, if you want to build internal controls, if you want to have some request provisioning process, or mitigation related, risk related approvals, audit software. So this is the framework every business owner, security owner, or the audit team, part of internal audit, part of external audit. So this is a framework that is being offered, part of access control to the organization. We will get into more details once we um, have, once we want to see uh, the benefits out of it. Then process controls offers the process compliance. The controls in sales and distribution, controls in materials management, controls in HR, controls in uh, FI, and also basis. All these controls and auto, uh, automated monitoring of these controls on a periodic basis offers. And we can also uh, say that we are process compliant once we have these controls in place and these are being monitored on a regular basis. So that's the framework. Risk management again the same. Risk definition varies from location to location and these risk definitions with the key risk indicators. So with the help of key risk indicators that can be monitored and we can see the healthiness of total cooperation at high level. And if there is any risk related issues at any of these organizations or the org unit location, those can be monitored and addressed to uh, make it more efficient and to be compliant in the compliance area. So we have three set of controls, three set of framework that we can have in SAP environment. And those can be monitored for us to be for us to be compliant uh, in the IT uh, at um, at organizational level or the corporation level compliance. And GTS offers the regulatory, so we can have regulated uh, import and export related controls. So that way, once we have this, once we have this suite implemented at a basic level, we can say we have SAP controls and compliance framework in place for the business. Okay, and this GRC can become a single source of compliance, and the maintenance can be, you know. Uh, minimized at the, at the same time, the applications can be, can be scalable with your business growth. This ERC framework supports changing regulatories whenever there are changes in the regulation. So those can be uh, accommodated in this framework without major uh, changes or major enhancements. So this framework SAP controls, which are part of your compliance needs in the organization, can be scaled up without major changes in the framework. Here, how can we reduce the compliance cost? By having the access control implemented. So access control offers all IT related controls and also business controls in the User, user access related area. This gives a huge benefit of you know, having controls across multiple systems in the uh, in your system landscape. With SAP or non-SAP, a different platform, it doesn't need to be a SAP system, it can be non-SAP. So this access control offers good number of controls, good number of approval process, good number of monitoring, good number of the reporting process. 
these are we can say you know with a minimal effort we can we can have this framework in place and with the help of this framework we can streamline certain compliance activities where you have been spending a lot of time for generating reports a lot of time for audits good amount of time for you know planning the compliance related task so all these compliance related costs can be eliminated by leveraging this framework of having multiple controls for multiple applications and the platform. We can also streamline the custom transaction by adding these transactions to the rules and also we can also streamline the existing transactions usage by you know adding these uh, C codes or the rules or the authorization objects part of your rules can work. So that way we are bringing certain discipline in your you know, authorization concept or adding authorization or managing authorization to the users. That in my opinion will lead to certain uh, regulation related cost reduction. This access control framework offers a new and enhanced workflow process which is very much customizable and it's very flexible and it offers pre-configured workflow approval process out of the box with a, with a minimal configuration. So that helps to streamline certain compliance related needs. There we can also look at certain cost, certain savings in the cost reduction. And the mitigation, either the cleanup or the mitigation are to see the right direction whether to clean up the mitigation. This, this framework will lead towards um, certain thought process to understand what is the right approach thereby we can save a good amount of time towards the compliance requirements. Once we have this product or the, or the suite of products implemented, we can reasonably look at the quick return on investment as it shortens internal audit periods as well as external audit time. Hence, we can um, think towards the audit cost. Audit traceability it offers as we have well developed screens where we can see good amount of information on the audit side. Let it be request approval process, a risk change approval process. We see um, very good amount of information through which we can have a very good uh, audit traceability and audit information. Process automation which always leads to pro improved productivity team need to spend um, less amount of time when compared to um, the, uh, the business without this framework. And audit reports and efficiency improvements. And uh, there are, as we mentioned earlier, we can bring in very good discipline in the audit side. The internal audit cycles as well as external audit cycles can be revisited. And, those can be, uh, you know, advised for the appropriate timing for the years to come in. 